In our culture, it's usually highly prized to stand out of the crowd in some way. Some people stand out because of their looks, others for their money, others for their talents, and others for maybe something not so great. It seems as if some people will do anything for their 15 minutes of fame. And in our culture of social media, fame can be found pretty easily. There's YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and more. Maybe you get lucky and your post even goes viral. But keep in mind, some people get to know you for something stupid, while others stand out because of their talents. Maybe you're thinking to yourself that you don't have any kind of gifts or talents that would ever make you stand out. Or maybe you do have something really cool. What do you use that talent for? I'm here to tell you that if you are a follower of Christ, then you have a gift. It may not be singing or dancing or acting, but you have a gift. 1 Corinthians 12, four through seven says, now there are different gifts, but the same Spirit. There are different ministries, but the same Lord. And there are different activities, but the same God activates each gift in each person. A demonstration of the Spirit is given to each person to produce what is beneficial. Another version says that each person is given something to do that shows who God is. Now that's a pretty cool concept. The gifts you are given are actually showing the world something about who God is. That is an amazing truth. Your gifts come from Him and are an expression of Him in you. So think of it this way. If your spiritual gifts show who God is, then the more you use those gifts, the more God is seen. We are able to showcase the beauty of God. We are to make His name known throughout the world because His kingdom is already here, but not yet fully realized. Your job is to use the special abilities God has planted inside of you. This means that when you lead wisely or you give generously, or serve others without expecting recognition, you are in fact living out the kingdom of God right then and there. Don't you know what your gifts are yet? That's okay. Ask God to reveal them to you. Ask a trusted leader if they see anything in you, or even look up a spiritual gifts test online. Once you know what they are, you'll probably wonder why you didn't realize it before. Now ask God to give you the courage to use those gifts. Don't try and be something you're not. Let God display His awesomeness through you. 